Hey, this is Jeff, and in this video, I would like to show you a nice articulate rise interaction that focuses on reflective questions. I've been using reflective questions for a, a little while now in my online solutions, and I think they're a really powerful and simple interaction you can set up just by posing a question, asking people to think and reflect on uh, either a topic that you are about to present to them or something they've just gone through. And so they can relate to that, what it means to them, what it is they think they know, uh, how it ref uh, relates to their day-to-day uh, -day work reality. So when I, it's a really nice, easy setup here. Now, one of the things in Articulate Rise is that it's uh, a long content page, right, by default. So you create your page and you've got a long page you can scroll through. Now, what I've done here is uh, I've started using the continue block. And the continue block is a divider uh, block that actually stops the rest of the content from loading until the participant clicks this continue block. So this allows me to give them full focus on the reflective question that I've got here. So in this case, I've got three reflective questions. And if I click the continue block, it will automatically slide open and uh, present the next question. So this is a really nice way to give focus for the participant on the specific question you're asking them. And it's really easy to set up. So let me quickly show that. So I'm going to edit mode now. And what I've got here is basically a statement block. So you can just add one going to all blocks, statement, and I think I grabbed the one statement D with a nice colored bar above it. And by default, it's gray. So I went into edit settings and set the background to white, because that's what I liked. And just adding a simple continue divider, I can click here, continue in the uh, quick bar or go to all blocks divider and select continue. So this is how easy it is to set up um, this kind of interaction. Of course, you can play with the design if you want to have a different type of statement, quote, just a paragraph with a subheading. You can really play with this and, and get as creative as you want. But I really like this nice clean design, the little divider on top here to set this apart. Um, it's a really great way to play with, it, with reflective questions uh, and gaining focus with this continue block. So hope you like it, hope you can use it and see you around.